Anna, listen. If you can't tolerate me moving in with you and Eddie, then I fear our relationship will crumble. Do you comprehend the gravity of my words? Unless you consent, I will sever this in-law bond with you, and I will urge my son to divorce you. Do you understand? Wow, good morning, Naomi. It's 5 a.m. Is this matter so pressing? Of course it is. It had me thinking all night. You should be grateful that I was decent enough not to call you instead. Thank God you didn't. I never said I wouldn't, did I? All right, all right. I'll respond here. Give me a moment to reread your messages. Okay, so, Naomi, I thought we agreed to put this on hold for now. Weren't we going to see how things pan out before you decide to move in with us? Mm, but this is a different story now, isn't it? My beloved son is in pain. How can I leave him stranded with you when he's suffering this much? What do you mean? What is he suffering from? And hang on, I need to go downstairs to make some coffee. One second, please. You're no good for my son and you know it. If not, I hope you do. You're a disgrace to my family. Why are you saying this all of a sudden? What exactly did he tell you? I still don't understand the situation here. Just hush your mouth. I know that you damn well know what I'm talking about. That's why I'm coming over to help him by staying with him 24-7. He needs me at home to take care of him at all times. So I can protect him from a horrible, crude, filthy woman like you. Excuse me? I'm crude? You just woke me up at 5 in the morning. Calling me some horrible names like filthy and crude and told me to shut up. And I'm the one who's crude? See? Look at the way you talk back to an elderly woman like me. How dare you? This just goes to show that I really need to move in and help my poor boy out. He needs me to protect him from you. You're vile, crazy cow. Oh wow, Naomi. What a way to start my morning. It's the truth. He told me all about it. You filthy scum. Oh my god. Well then, what did he say? Enlighten me. Oh, where do I start, Claire? Everything. From how he's slaving away, working day in and day out for you. And when he comes home, you make him do all the housework as well. He needs a rest. Give him a break. He needs to be treated with more respect. And yet you just slave him away. What do you think he is, a toy? Wait. I told you how he's been out of a job for the last six months, right? I think you know that already. So I'm the one who's been working day in and day out to provide for us. Thank you very much. So where is all this nonsense coming from? It's bogus! He told me you'd say that, and that's your fault too, isn't it? He's out of a job because of you. What? How is that my fault? Because you make him do everything for your YouTube channel. And he couldn't just focus on his real job. He was too kind and too dedicated to help you out for your benefit. And you take everything that's monetized anyway. Does he get any cut out of it? No, he doesn't, does he? What? Is that what he told you? I mean, sure, he helps me with it every now and then, but he was the one who suggested it at the beginning. And I don't make him do everything, okay? That's a total lie. He helps me edit the videos and films me. But I also do that without him, too. I use my tripod stand and a selfie stick to film myself, too. And I spend at least two hours a day working on the videos and finalizing them every day. And I'm the one who thinks of the video content, too. 
I actually do most of the legwork, so I don't think he has a right to complain like that. Lies. I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth, Anna. You're so full of it. Okay, I'll talk to him about it and find out why he's saying that. No. This is between you and me. Um, no, this clearly involves your son. So this is clearly between me and him. See? There you go again. You're not going to harass him, aren't you? Guilt trip him? Yell at him like you always seem to do, huh? Is that what he said? How could you even think of doing that after I told you how upset he was? And he needs to rest. He's been working hard all night. Well, you're right. He didn't come to bed last night. See? He's been working hard all day yesterday, all the way into the night, that's why. Maybe he's in his office. You need to leave him be. Let him get his rest, Anna. Poor thing. He called me practically crying to me the other day. He did? Oh yes, he did. He told me he hates doing this for you. How you don't appreciate his hard work. How you just order him around. It's enough, Anna. You can't do this to my boy anymore. I won't have it. Okay, I understand. I appreciate your concern. But I think Eddie and I still have to have a conversation about this. So I'll get back to you after that, okay? You filthy animal. If you dare so much as tell him to start working today, I'll come and beat your behind like my father did to discipline me. That'll teach you a lesson. Oh no, you won't beat me, Naomi. You can hush your mouth. I'll do what I want to protect my son. You vile creature. You wicked witch. You heartless dictator. My son must divorce you this instant. I won't tolerate this any longer. Oh, hello again, Naomi. Still playing the victim, are we? He just ran away like a coward, and I had no clue where he went. But judging by your tone, I guess he's hiding behind you, right? Of course he's with his mummy. It seems like this is the only place he feels loved and safe with me. Poor thing. He was terrified and traumatized. You abused him. What? How did I abuse him? That's not what happened at all. He said you screamed at him and went berserk on him. How could you do this to your husband? You're lucky my boy isn't violent. Otherwise, he would teach you a lesson. Oh, wow. I barely got a chance to speak earlier, and he's claiming that I screamed at him? Can you please hand your phone to him? Or tell him to call me or text me back. We need to sort this out. You think I'll hand my angel over to the devil like that? Are you calling me a devil now? Well, aren't you? I gave birth to him and raised him on my own. I will not, I repeat, not have him suffer like this. Especially not over his stupid, shallow woman like you. Just because you're a YouTuber, that doesn't mean anything to me. You got that? It means nothing to me. I can report you and trash you as much as I want. See if I care, and see if other people still see you for who you are online, huh? Wow, Naomi, please. I know you raised Eddie on your own, and I know you did a great job at it. I've always shown my respect to you for that. But this issue is between me and him, and all I'm asking is for us to simply talk it through like any couple should. I'll make sure he serves the divorce papers to you right now. Clearly, that's the only solution to this mess of a marriage. Well, I'm sorry, but I won't be signing anything until we both sit down and talk first. Oh, don't you worry, I'll take care of that. What do you mean by that? I've made Eddie read through the fault-based divorce documents. 
In fact, he's reading it right now. A fault-based divorce? Exactly. This is marital misconduct. You and your abuse fall under it. I'll hire someone to serve these to you. Oh my god, wait. Hang on, okay? I'm calling him now. This can't happen without us talking. He says he doesn't want to talk to you. Don't you see that that's why he's not answering your calls? Naomi, please. You've got to understand that I don't want a divorce. I just want to talk to him. Ugh, just zip it. I know that all you're trying to do is salvage your YouTube channel and not your marriage. What? I know it's my Eddie who manages everything related to your channel. If you get a divorce, how detrimental is it going to be for you, huh? It's going to be really bad for you, and don't I know it. Well, yes, it will be bad. It'll be bad for everyone if you did something like that. Well then, good. You deserve it, you cow. That YouTube account is going to be his now. I told you, I do most of the legwork with my channel. I'm the owner of my channel. He can't do that. You don't even know how it works. Oh, shut the hell up, you crazy woman. Try logging in now. He can't, can you? You changed the password? There you go. Proof that he takes control of the account. You have nothing now. It's your turn to suffer, you ugly monstrous cow. He'll be taking over your channel from here. He'll tell everyone how he's been mistreated and expose you. It serves you right. Wow. Please don't do that. This is insane. And really immature. Huh. Well, it serves you damn right. You better sign those divorce papers or else I'll make it a living nightmare for you. So you're not even going to let me talk to him about this? What is there to talk about? Hell no! You're not going anywhere near my son. Fine. So be it then. You'll see. Are you trying to threaten me now? You think you can? Bite me, Anna. You'd better blame yourself then for what's going to happen. Don't come crying to me, Naomi. Tell Eddie that too. <sighs> okay, this conversation is not going anywhere. I might as well be talking to a brick wall. Well, you and me both. Goodbye. Naomi, I've been trying to reach Eddie, but he's nowhere to be found. Could you relay a message to him for me? I've vacated our shared abode. He's free to do as he pleases with it. And oh, wish him luck for me, will you? Wonderful. We're almost there, actually. We're about to come and collect his things anyway. But this is good. We don't have to see each other then, do we? No, we won't. Which is great for me, too. I've left the appliances and furniture. So take whatever he wants. I won't be needing any of it. We just got here, and yes, we'll be taking everything we deserve. Great. Enjoy. What's that supposed to mean, Anna? You'll see. Oh my god! A default notice of outstanding debt payments. What the heck is this? Anna, this is addressed to Eddie. What's all this nonsense? Eddie doesn't have any debt. Oh, I thought you knew everything about your beloved son. I guess you didn't know him as well as you thought you did after all. This is all you, isn't it? I know it is. This can't be him. You're putting him up to something. Okay, let me explain everything in chronological order for you, okay? What have you got to tell me then? Firstly, he quit his job. He quit because he wanted to be a YouTuber like me. 
He started his own channel and everything. What? He never told me he was doing this on his own too! Well, that was six months ago. And he only has about 500 subscribers. Which in this world of YouTube is peanuts. 500 subscribers means nothing. So maybe he was embarrassed to tell you about it. You stole his content or something, didn't you? You stole his subscribers! Don't you think that I don't know how these things work? You put him up to it, didn't you? You made him help you out on your own stupid channel, and he never found time to work on his own one! Listen, I never asked him to help me out, okay? Not directly, anyway. He still couldn't find a new job even after three months, so he asked if he could help me out. So he was the one who asked me to help, okay? Ask him yourself. And to be totally honest with you, he sucked at his job. What? All he had to do was add subtitles and edit a portion of the videos. I mean, I wasn't even asking him for a Hollywood movie or anything. And he still did a crap job at that. So I ended up doing all of that myself. And all he did was post the videos and read the comments on them and tally the opinions up to get a general consensus of it. How hard is that? Not at all! So what's he complaining about? Shut up! What does that have to do with this debt here? Well, that's for the expensive equipment he bought for his own channel. The lights, the camera lens, everything. I mean, just a single camera lens can cost up to as much as $3,000. I don't know why he invested in that much equipment without growing his target audience first. But I guess that was his way of doing things. And it was either his way or nothing. What, so this is all his debt? Yep, all of it. I don't believe it. Isn't he with you now? Why don't you ask him? He's not saying anything. Who the heck is gonna tell me what's going on here? Anna, this better not be some prank you're doing for your channel. <laughs> oh, it should be, right? That's a good idea. Don't you dare. Oh, come on. I'm not that mean, am I? Anyway, why don't you add Eddie to this group chat? That's one way of getting the truth out of him, don't you think? He says he's blocked you. Well, tell him to unblock me then. Eddie, why don't you enlighten your mother about the reality of your situation? Perhaps start with the mountain of debt you've been piling up? Well, Eddie, we're waiting. It's all because of you, Anna. Ha! Huh, I knew it. It was all Anna's doing. What on earth? Your YouTube channel is a roaring success. I couldn't bear it. What are you saying? You were raking in three times my salary. I thought if I quit my job and outdid you on YouTube, I could make it big. You were lacking advanced equipment. I thought that would be my edge. And how did that pan out for you? Enough! How was I supposed to know? We were both posting similar DIY content. I had better equipment. My videos were bound to be superior. And again, how did that work out for you? Enough already! Do you have any idea how stressful these past few months have been? Do you know what it's like to have a spouse who's more successful than you are? You wouldn't understand. Why didn't we discuss this? Why did you storm off? Why lie to your mother? I didn't want to worry her. Oh, darling, you could never upset me. Mom, I've been battling insomnia. I haven't had a good night's sleep in months. And it's all because of her, isn't it? 
She made you buy that expensive equipment. If she hadn't been so successful, you wouldn't have felt the need to compete. It all comes back to her. Oh, please. Stop twisting things around. Why don't you just hand over your channel to him? Give him a chance to succeed. Absolutely not. My channel is not up for grabs. You're a monster. He was the one staying up all night binge watching Netflix and getting drunk. Not me. Why don't you tell your mother about that, Eddie? And you call that insomnia? You can kiss my behind. Is this true, Eddie? Well, Mom, I just needed something to help me fall asleep. Stop lying, Eddie! It's partly true. If you were truly suffering and wanted to get better, you would have sought medical help for your insomnia. So why didn't you, Eddie? I didn't have time, okay? Time? You didn't have any time? You have nothing but time! Are you out of your mind? That's enough, Anna. Enough! No, Naomi. I've had enough. Enough of your smothering! Do you think it's healthy to be this protective of a 35-year-old man? Do you think it's normal for a mother to force her son to sign divorce papers? And then demand that I give up my YouTube channel and career that I've worked on for four years? I don't think so. Speaking of which, Anna... What now? Is this about your latest video where you announced that you're taking over my channel? Telling my fans that you are taking over? Yeah. Have you read the comments? Sure I have. A lot of people are hating on you now, aren't they? What? Eddie, baby. Is that true? Yeah, I don't know why, Mom. It's because that's not your channel, it's mine! They come here for my videos, not you or for your stupid amateur DIY content. I know. Man, I didn't think it would blow up like this, though. Well, of course it would. The way you announced that you were going to take over was unfair. You didn't even tell them the truth as to why you were doing it. And you expect my fans to just accept it? Of course not. You have no idea how this works. No wonder you failed your own channel. Don't listen to her, darling. Those are just empty words. Of course you can make it, dear. You're a wonderful boy. You're special. Everyone will see that in you eventually. It just takes a bit of time. Good things always come to those who wait, right? No, but Mom, she's right, though. I can't do what she does. It's different. The way she does things, the way that she teaches, the graphics that she uses, it's on a whole other level. I can't compete with that, Mom. No, oh, don't be silly. You're my son. You're capable of doing anything you want in this world. No, Mom, you don't get it. She's good at what she does, okay? There's no point in trying to take over her channel. Well then, did you hear that, Anna? Sure. And what? Why don't we come up with another solution then? Like what? Like forget this thing ever happened and start fresh. <laughs> what? Yeah, Mom. Good idea. Sure, this was all a mistake, I admit. But everyone still makes mistakes, right? Uh, excuse me? You think I'll just agree to that? Forgive and forget just like that? Yes, that's it. Forgive and forget. Perfect. That's what we'll do here, okay? Heck no! No! Is that some kind of joke? I'm really sorry, Anna. I mean it, and I'm sure Mom means it too. Sure, Anna. It was just a family quarrel, okay? 
Come on, it's not that bad, right? So calling me names, making fun of me, making horrible accusations about me as a wife, forcing me to divorce my husband, trying to steal my work and my fans? You think that it's not that bad? <laughs> That's a bit exaggerated, Anna. Oh, hell no. You think that's an exaggeration? I'll show you what exaggeration means. I'm going to sue you. So you can either try and defend yourself real hard or bite the bullet and settle. What do you mean by that? Money, Eddie. Money. It's always been about the money for you, hasn't it? Well, I have plenty of it. Enough to make you fry in hell. So go on then. Try and steal my channel. Try me and see what happens. Okay, okay, jeez. I'm telling you, I won't take over your channel. I promise. You can have your channel back. Oh, I can have my channel back now, can I? Mind if I get my freedom back now too, huh? What do you mean? I want that divorce. I thought that's not what you wanted. I haven't even signed the papers yet. I thought you told me that you did, honey. No, I just read through the documents online that you showed my mom. I wasn't ready to sign anything yet. Well then, it's time you sign them. Sign them now. No, let's talk about this, Anna. I can go over to wherever you want me to go. Come on. We're a team, aren't we? You say I jump and you say how high, right? I'm the one who says how high, right? Oh, please. You're too late for that now. Where were you when I suggested that we talk a few days ago, huh? I can't believe I put up with you for as long as I did anyway. My fans would be happy we're divorcing. They've been cheering me on for ages. You know what most of the comments say about you, right? Yeah, but what do they know? They don't know anything about us. Sure. Only because you didn't show yourself on camera until the latest one claiming to take over my channel. And besides, your voice was always in my videos. And my fans are smarter than you think. They're all adults, and they can tell what you're like just by your voice. You think? Sure they can. And they can tell what kind of horrible person you are as well. Lucky me. I've got more people who can back me up and support me if I need any in court. No, no, no. Don't say court, man. Come on, Anna. Don't sue me. Mom, tell her. Yes, Anna, please don't sue him. He hasn't done anything wrong. Oh, listen to the both of you. I told you, Naomi, not to come crying to me. I told you so, didn't I? Yes, and you were right. I'm so sorry, dear. We both need you. For what? For my money, isn't it? We'd be lying if we said that that wasn't true, right, Eddie? Mom! I knew it! It's not easy living on my pension like this, okay? You've got to understand. Eddie, you tell her. Mom, what the heck? Well, I was relying on you to help me out, wasn't I? But now look at you. Do you even know why I tried so hard to raise you single-handedly? I raised you in the hope that you would return the favor to me one day tenfold. That's what got me through all these years. The reason why I put you into a good school, made you surround yourself with good people, tried to make you a smart and a good boy, I thought you'd learn enough and be rich by now and that I would be living my retirement years in peace and luxury. But now look at this. You're nothing but a disappointment. Failing at everything you do, one after another. 
Mom, what? Is that what you really think of me? Of course. And before you fail in your marriage, you'd better salvage it right now. That's what I'm trying to do here, okay? Well, you can't, Eddie. I'm 100% getting this divorce whether you like it or not. In fact, I'll be serving you with the papers myself. That'll save you the hassle, won't it? What? Are you serious? Sure. And I'm done here. Make sure to sign the papers. And good luck clearing out your debt. No, wait, Anna. Please, don't go. Let's talk. I've got to get going and post an update video so I don't keep my fans waiting. Bye now. Oh, and don't forget to tell me the new password for my account, okay? Please. You can't do this to me. Bye, and to hell with the both of you. After a lot of hassle, I finally got my new password and secured my channel again. I'm so relieved that I didn't have to sue Eddie and Naomi for this mess. It would have been a nightmare to go through the legal process and deal with their drama. Luckily, we settled it peacefully through a negotiation. We agreed on some terms and conditions that would protect my channel and my content from any further interference. I just need to wait for the final confirmation from then, and then I can move on with my life. And speaking of moving on, I've been staying with my parents since I left Eddie. It's nice to be with them again after so long. They have been very supportive and understanding of my situation. They have also shared a lot of wisdom and advice about marriage. They have been married for over 30 years, and they know what it takes to make it work. I wish I'd listened to them more before I tied the knot with Eddie. Maybe I would have avoided a lot of trouble and heartache. Maybe next time, if there is a next time, I'll be more careful and choose someone who respects me and my career.